Hey folks, <laughs> this vlog has not turned out how I wanted it to. I'm in a... <laughs> oh shit. I'm in a prehistoric bog up on the Northumberland Moors. What a time. Hell fire. So, I had a plan. We'll go up to Northumberland to my mate's cottage for three days. We'll photograph some browners like we did last time we were here. Got some ace pictures and everything will be good. And I'll do a dead good vlog and put it out to all you lot on YouTube and you'll be well impressed. And it's all gone pear shaped. The weather has been rank. This is the best day. Look at it. It's grey, miserable, no light. But I've had to get out. I'm going stir crazy. So, we're out, <laughs> seeing what we can get, and at the moment, not much. We've had a, we found a nice rabbit warren, got a few pictures of some rabbits, which, I don't know, they're a good test of rabbits, not as easy as you think, but there's nothing about, well there's, we're in grouse country, there's loads of red grouse about, but they're a swine to get close to. Best way to get close to them is in the car. I'm going to have to cross this river again. So, on the way up I managed to get a few, few pictures out of the car. Because they're not bothered about the cars. Best form of hide you can have really, along the side of the roads. Morning folks. Right, last chance saloon this because it's our this is there's the cottage. We'll have a look at that when we get back. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? What a place. But I don't know if you can make it out, but we've got a covering of snow and ice and slush because it's Baltic. And I thought before we go on, let's go and try and get some decent pictures of these these grouse, hopefully. So I've not had any any luck with the the hers. So grouse are the, the target, so we're, we're going to get in the motor, literally a few hundred yards up here, and um, we're up on the tops, we're up right up on the moors. So we're going to see, we're going to use the, the car as a hide, which we talked about, you know, it's the, I find it's the best way of photographing grouse, they're not really, they can be bothered, but you've just got to be a, a little bit cute, you know, sometimes they'll fly off, but a lot of the time they'll tolerate it more than obviously if you're walking if you're walking by they're, they're off like a shot so we'll have a wander up here and see if we can get out So we've managed to get a few few pictures. Nothing too technical, is it? But I've found that the best way, really, is just to keep driving up and down. Because you literally drive, drive down this little stretch one minute, go back, and they'll have come out or they'll have moved into a, you know, a perfect position. So, you know, don't just do one pass. See there, three of them there, perfect. We weren't here 10 minutes ago, so. You've got to persevere. They look absolutely fantastic against this frosty ground. I'm hoping to get some really nice images. They make nice Christmas cards actually. <laughs> oh, bean bags. Right, if you want one for Christmas. So this is the snipe, we've got the woodcock, which is the, um, 
real tree. Get an order in now and get it in quick because I can only make so many. Obviously we've got the little raven ones as well, so with postal strikes coming. Yeah, get them in. This one, I've actually filled this with um hey, what are they? Um buckwheat husks and it's dead light and it's it gives a good base. I, I do prefer them with heavier stuffing and for the car. Uh, it doesn't really matter because you're not lugging it about, but for that, in your backpack, dead light. Yeah, good stuff. You can get it from Amazon. I'll put a, I'll put a link in the description below. Right, we're off now. I'm going back to uh, to warm up a bit because it is Baltic. Uh, we'll have a look at that cottage. I'll put a link in the uh, again in the description. Have a have a look at it. Check it out. It's fantastic up here. Honestly, it's beautiful. It's wild, uh, as you can see from. Uh, out here but um there's loads to see and you know earlier on in here i got some ace pictures of the um of the brown hairs there's loads of derelict buildings there's kestrels knocking about barn owls you know there's 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 a plethora of stuff so yeah check it out you might um you might fancy it So we're just going to negotiate this stream without going in, hopefully. Right, look at that. You can tell how much it's rained. It's just water's pounding off the hills. So I'm going to try and find a little sheltered spot and show you what this is all about. Let's get away from this river because it's noisy. Oh, I'm just going to dunk down here, it's bracken. Oh, I can't be bothered. Right, let me just, let me wipe this screen. There you go. That's better. Right, so the vlog has all gone per shape, but I want to show you this now. For anyone that follows the channel, you'll know that we had a system change. So we changed from Nikon, didn't we, to OM. We got the OM1 and the 150 to 400, and it was brilliant. So this video isn't about knocking the OM1, because if anyone has made a change and gone over to OM, you know, it's, it's quality gear. It really is, you know, but there were one thing, well, two, two little things really one big thing, and that was the image separation. And I knew about it before I got it because with Micro Four Thirds, you don't get, if you're shooting at f4.5, you get, you know, the, the, the right aperture amount of light coming in. So that's exactly equivalent to a full frame f4.5. Um, but you don't get that depth of field. So I'm not sure whether it's it's double or I'm, I'm not sure because you get the two times magnification factor 
whether it's uh, double with the depth of field, I'm not sure, but that's the one thing that my images were suffering from and that was the image separation. So another thing was the auto-focusing video, which again, you know, I were having to manually focus, which isn't the easiest thing because I do a lot of video. So originally I wanted the Z9 and two of my two qualities of mine, right? I am I can be patient. I can be patient with the best of them. Anyone that's done 13 hours in a hockey ground, I had the patient. But I'm also very impatient. And if there's something that I can't get hold of and I've got the money in my pocket, it burns an all in it. And that was the case with the Z9. I couldn't get hold of it for love and money. And I saw the OM1, you know, some really good qualities about it. You know, the um, the inbuilt image stabilization, the, the especially that 150 to 400, you've a thousand mil in your hand with the built-in teleconverter, pro capture, etc., etc. you know, the, the weather sealing. And I went for it and I changed and I give it a go. And um, ultimately you're judged on the images, aren't you, that you get. And a few of the images that I took, they should have been, you know, if, if I'd have had full frame on it, they'd have been absolute belters. And the images were suffering a bit, in my opinion, just for me. You know, I prefer that uh, that that really good image separation. So I've gone for the Z9 and I've got the Z9 and the 500mm F4. So back to a big prime, not the 600, but the 500, you know, a bit more portable. It's still a brute, but that's what we're on. So... This, um, <laughs> this, the weather's coming in again, it's horrible. So this, this video, it's, um, I'm going to show you where we're stopping actually, because it's a mate's cottage and it's, it's fantastic up here. It is, it's wild, like, you know, as you can tell now. But we got up yesterday morning and it was just a covering of snow. It's all gone, the sleet seen it off. But I'm going to show you at cottage and we'll put a link because it's on uh, it's Airbnb. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a fantastic place. We're not going to get any <laughs> any decent images, I don't think. But I just wanted to give you an update, quick update. I'll put a few pictures on that I took coming up in the car and uh, a few of the rabbits and that. But that's about it for this one. From a very miserable Northumberland, over and out. See you on the next one. Into the kitchen. Fully fitted kitchen. Let's have a look. Oh. Over the gate. That's the front porch into the front room. Look at that. Lovely. Big stone hearth and a wood burner. Views out of the, the front of the cottage. Over the hills and far away. Let's have a wander upstairs. This is one of the bedrooms, two singles in this one, and again, fantastic views out towards Allen Heads. Bathroom, shower, and bath, and this is the main bedroom. And again, as you'd expect, lovely views. So that's the cottage, signpost cottage at Allen Heads. And I'll put a link in the description. Come and check it out. It's a great place. All right, see you later.